You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. What am I? Sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Singularity is a concept that's gathering buzz in the artificial intelligence arena. It refers to the point in the future where AI surpasses human control and where technology growth is out of control and irreversible. These intelligent and powerful technologies will radically and unpredictably transform our reality, revolutionizing society. But what makes the concept of singularity so challenging is that it's hard to pinpoint when it starts and impossible to know what lies beyond the event horizon. We're not there yet, and maybe even decades away, but one thing is for sure, the path to singularity is getting shorter by the day. The path to artificial general intelligence. The world is at the brink of transformation, a fifth industrial revolution, a revolution that will change the way we live, work, interact, blurring the lines between machine and human capabilities, a renaissance of sorts. And the driving force behind this change is the convergence of technologies, including AI, robotics, big data, and computational power leading to a massive potential gain in productivity. This revolution is disrupting multiple industries and services, creating new business models, scaling across the entire economy and quickly. It's not something that's impacting just one sector. It's something that literally is everywhere. And as a result, no one's safe unless we embrace it now. What sets this revolution apart is that it's changing tasks previously thought to be unique to humans and in areas previously believed to be immune to automation, leading to the realization that even jobs in fields such as poetry, art, creativity may not be safe from the effects of machines. But it's not all gloom. At its core, this revolution is powered by a powerful form of AI, generative AI using deep learning techniques. Generative AI refers to a subset of artificial intelligence focused on generating new data based on existing patterns, structures, and models. This can be in a form of creating images, videos, music, text, and much, much more. Generative AI models like natural language processing, text-to-speech, image, video, even text-to-code, like chat GPT, Lambda, DALI E2 are the nerve centers behind hundreds of new applications we're seeing today. It's just the beginning. So get ready for a transformation that will shape our future and a profound moment in technology, the dawn of a new class of applications. Generative AI promises to make 2023 one of the most exciting years yet for innovation and change and disruption. Stay with me as I explore why the sudden hype, where it's going, and how it's going to affect us all, for the better or for the worse. Let's get into it. You're watching The Quickening. The future, the future is, is, now. is now. To understand why the sudden hype in artificial intelligence, we need to take a look at what changed over the last couple of years. I mean, after all, AI and machine learning has been around for a while now. I mean, social media curation, Netflix, movie suggestions, Uber, Google Maps, it's everywhere. So what changed? Well, it kind of started back in 2017, 18, when a company called DeepMind, a Google AI subsidiary today, published a journal introducing software called AlphaGo Zero, a system designed to play a complex Chinese checkers game called Go. The system used deep neural networks to predict the outcome of moves 
and to evaluate positions on the board, a type of machine learning algorithm, but modeled on the structure and function of the human brain. Neural networks are trained using massive amounts of unstructured data to identify patterns and make predictions or decisions. AlphaGo Zero was simply fed the rules of the game and left to play against itself time and time again and learn by itself. It used reinforcement learning techniques where an AI agent learns by taking actions in the environment and receiving rewards based on correct act actions alongside policies to penalize it when it got it wrong. So combined with a couple of other algorithms, AlphaGo Zero was able to learn to play Go, a very complex checkers game, at superhuman level, unsupervised. It became so powerful because it was no longer constrained by the limits of human knowledge as per previous models. It developed its own skills required to beat the best players within just a few days. Developed strategies never seen before in the game. Truly next level. And shortly after DeepMind developed, using the same model techniques, AlphaFold, a system that can accurately predict 3D models of protein structures and is accelerating research in nearly every field of biology today. It's hailed as a game changer for the field of structured biology, leading to the development of new drugs, better understanding of diseases, and more efficient ways to produce artificial food. This kind of deep learning model marked a major breakthrough for artificial intelligence, a breakthrough into large language transformer models. The start of self-improvement learning AI, or self-supervised learning, intelligence that can perform different tasks without being explicitly trained on them, foundation models, and the new paradigm was born. This foundation model paradigm is the reason behind the explosion, the reason behind the new age and AI revolution. So how does this work? Foundation models are pretty much open for integration and can be used as a building block to create more complex models, fast. Models once reserved and guarded by their developers, the cat's out of the bag. Developers can now adapt these models in a wide range of use cases with little fine tuning required for each task. By using pre-trained foundation models, the training time and resources required to build downstream generative AI tools are simply obliterated overnight. The floodgates are now open and the race is on. Scarcely a week now passes without an announcement of a new model, a new dawn for an application boom. And coupled with constant advances in computing power, GPUs, ARM architecture, and lightning quick cloud servers, the AI revolution is firmly etched in stone. The people and the person that invented refrigeration made some money, but most of the money was made by Coca-Cola who used refrigeration to build an empire. And I view these large language models as refrigeration, but the Coca-Cola has yet to be built. Just like the smartphones unleashed new types of applications and capabilities, these foundation models will motivate a new wave of generative AI applications. And just as the inflection point of mobile created a market of killer apps a decade ago, we can expect killer apps to emerge from generative AI-based models like ChatGPT by OpenAI, Cloud from Anthropic, and Lambda Bard from Google. Text-to-image models like Stable Diffusion and Dali E2, text-to-speech like Dali E from Microsoft. These foundation models have already spawned hundreds of applications. The field is rapidly evolving and new companies and technologies are emerging almost on a weekly basis. Essentially, it's the opportunity of a decade of innovation and where it's going is only limited to the creative mind of humans for now. Generative AI arguably exhibits creativity. They're learning from interactions with users. Every industry that requires humans to create original work is up for reinvention. Generative AI will unlock better, faster, and cheaper creation across a wide range of end markets, whilst delivering insights 
beyond our imagination. For example, interaction labour, such as customer service, has arguably lagged behind technological advancements, but that is all set to change. Tools exist that are designed to mimic human behaviour in a way that can be almost indistinguishable, and in some cases operate with little to no human involvement whatsoever. Robotic call centres that instantly send you a transcription of the call with a confirmation receipt, a robo-agent that can instantly navigate a corporation's operational database and solve whatever complex situation or query in a true natural language voice, in any language. Anything that is robotic in nature, monotonous, will be automated. And we're already seeing some 450 applications based on foundation models disrupting many sectors with first movers scaling very quickly. For example, content writing software like Jasper and Compose that will not only deliver original content for marketing, blogs, news articles or presentations, but simultaneously optimize them for SEO. Code generation apps like GitHub's Copilot, based on OpenAI's Codex model, delivering code in any language based on a simple prompt description. It will even analyze code for errors and explain where you went wrong. Presentation software that integrates two models, ChatGPT and DALI E2, Tone, and text-to-speech, Descript Overdub, synthesizing and interpolating your own voice for presentations or whole entire podcasts. The list goes on and on. Some companies have even taken large language models to their own extremes and developed proprietary models focused on specific tasks like analyzing and auto-reporting large data sets for corporations in natural language. Insights and reporting, not in spreadsheet format, but in spoken word. The current search engine war is firmly in place. Google may have a contender on their hands, and the race is on. Large language models are reimagining search and the way we interact with the web, a new paradigm for browser and web experience. Infused with AI and assembled as an, as an integrated experience, AI has unlocked the joy of discovery again, giving us the ability to harness the world's knowledge in a way more efficient manner. Search engines as we know them are overwhelming, cluttered with results and paid hierarchy. Too many links when trying to find a simple answer. All this has practically changed overnight with the launching of Microsoft Bing, ChatGPT and Google Bar Lambda. We're just witnessing version one. The hope is that as the economy grows and the value accrues, there's an ample opportunity for generative AI to significantly augment humans rather than displace them. Even the most advanced AI systems currently available are not capable of replacing human creativity. A practical approach to incorporating AI tools is to use them as an assistant rather than an adversary. Even though AI tools can assist in image manipulation, companies still require designers to come up with ideas and select the most suitable output. They also require writers to comprehend the subject matter and connect it to the audience interest. In such scenarios, content generators are simply another tool at our disposal. As OpenAI CEO Sam Altman stated in a blog about DALI E2, it demonstrates a world where the limit of what can be accomplished is determined by good ideas, not specific abilities. Workers and organizations that learn to collaborate with AI and capitalize on the distinct advantages of both AI and humans may discover that they are stronger together. Imagine the creative and interpersonal capabilities of the human mind combined with AI's aptitude for repetitive tasks. This kind of collaboration has already been seen in the emerging role of prompt engineers. This teamwork approach 
may result in improved job security for workers and a better employment experience for companies. One thing is for sure, we better all get used to the word prompt. How we ask large language models questions is a skill for the future and one that requires understanding how language models work, what types of inputs it responds best to, as well as iterating and adjusting the prompt to produce the desired output. We're going to see a whole new band of prompt engineers releasing plugins and extensions to tailor specific inputs based on subject matter and use case. Well, it's exciting times, but we have to embrace it now. There's no escaping it. And the journey is gonna be wonderful. Now, this subject matter alone is gonna keep me pretty occupied for the foreseeable future. So please stay tuned, smash that like button. We're gonna take a deep dive into what's possible, taking a deeper look into the application layer and discussing some of the most innovative companies across the text and writing, audio, video, image, data and decision segments. A peek into the future of work, efficiency and creativity, health and science. There's a lot to cover in this series and it's moving fast. AI has already been used to fine tune AI and fine tune the design of chips that accelerates AI, a virtuous circle of virtuosity. Subscribe, keep in the know, and until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.